Driving on ice and snow presents particular hazards that require different driving techniques. One of the most important things to remember is that stopping and cornering will be much more difficult than on a dry road, as grip is substantially reduced. Clear snow off the bonnets and roof of your vehicle. As you gather speed or brake hard, collected snow will fly off the bodywork, which could impair visibility. Ensure your windows and lights are clean and that the license plates are clear too as these must be kept visible when on public roads. Driving on snow and ice, you need to be aware of the increased stopping distances. Your vehicle's ABS will allow you to steer as you brake, but if you follow the vehicle in front as closely as you can do in good road conditions, there is a much greater risk of a collision. These vehicles demonstrate this. Traveling side by side, you see that the following Land Rover only comes to a halt beyond the rear bumper of the lead vehicle despite applying maximum braking effort as soon as the brake lights were visible. This is due to the increased braking distance combined with the driver's reaction time. Maintain a sufficient gap between you and the vehicle ahead to leave enough distance for safe braking. When you pull away from stationary, select the highest practical gear, use a gentle right foot while accelerating and braking, and select grass, gravel, snow on terrain response. This will help reduce the risk of wheel spin and so give you more low speed traction. To achieve the best traction, try to make new tracks in snow rather than following existing ones. A recce is vital when driving off-road in snow. Like water, areas of snow need to be checked for depth and for any hazards concealed beneath the surface. Driving straight into unchecked areas can result in wheel spin and your vehicle becoming stranded. To avoid any potential problems, get out of the vehicle and walk the route you plan to take, checking to each side as well as the course ahead. Remember to knock off snow from your boots when returning to your Land Rover. This will help you maintain good grip on the foot pedals. If the snow is too deep or if there are hidden obstacles, take an alternative route. The lack of traction offered by snow and ice means that more momentum is needed to successfully climb a gradient than in most other driving environments. Insufficient momentum can result in wheel spin caused by the lack of traction making the ascent more difficult to accomplish. Approach an incline in the highest practical gear, which in this case is second, and use a strong but steady throttle to gain the momentum needed. It is particularly important in snow to attempt the hill straight up, as the slightest side angle can cause you to slide. Dynamic Stability Control, DSC, is a feature on some Land Rover models that helps maintain directional control in slippery conditions. Turning off DSC and entering a corner too fast, or applying the throttle too sharply can risk the vehicle sliding into a skid, as demonstrated here. Now we see the vehicle entering the corner with DSC engaged. Although full throttle has been used in both these examples, this time the system automatically limits the throttle and applies braking force to each wheel individually to keep the vehicle under control. <laughs> 